Hey guys, I'm here with another online match from the Capital Punishment card, CM Punk vs. Rey Mysterio. And like I said in the predictions game video, I think that Rey Mysterio is going to win this match, which is why I'm playing as Rey Mysterio so I can, you know, win the match, the online match as well. And the reason why I think Rey Mysterio is going to win is that Rey Mysterio looked like shit on Raw. He got beat up pretty bad. He got beat up by Nexus. He got beat up by Christian. While CM Punk looked really good on Raw. He got a huge victory over John Cena. And what I think is, in a lot of cases, whoever gets the momentum on the show before the pay-per-view, well, he is going to lose the match. And whoever doesn't get the momentum gets beat up, usually wins the match. In some cases, though, they don't. I've been proven wrong sometimes, but in a lot of cases, that's the case. <laughs> and, you know, this match, it doesn't really have a storyline to it. Uh, I guess it started when CM Punk beat Rey Mysterio on Raw, and then Rey Mysterio beat CM Punk on Raw, and then I guess they decided to make a match out of it. I don't know, there's no real storyline over it. So, uh, yeah, it's just a match, I guess, to fill the card up. And another reason why I think that Rey Mysterio is going to win is, you know, I didn't believe this at first. When the dirt sheet said that CM Punk might leave, I didn't believe it. But it looks like it's true. It's, it looks like CM Punk is going to leave. So I don't see the point why they make Rey Mysterio win the match. I don't even see the point why, you know, CM Punk won the match against John Cena when he's gonna leave. I don't know, is that John is that the WWE trying to convince convince Punk to stay by giving him a huge victory over John Cena? I don't know. Maybe it was just a way to I guess uh, make John Cena piss at R Truth or something like that. Because R Truth is the one that cost him the match by distracting him so CM Punk, you know, hit the GTS for the win. I don't know. Uh, this match, my thoughts on it, you know, it's probably going to be a good match, but it's going to be a great match. Rey Mysterio and CM Punk put on some great matches when they were on SmackDown feuding at that time. At that time, there was an actual storyline, you know, behind the match. This time, there's no real storyline. <coughs> Sorry. Um, you know, these matches, by the way, these matches I have online... About you know prediction matches like Rey Mysterio vs CM Punk, Ezekiel Jackson vs Wade Barrett, John Cena vs R Truth. They're pretty hard to get actually. The way I do them is I don't even invite my friends. Well, actually, and I guess two of them I invited a guy on my friend list to do them, but in most of them, it's random guys from online. And the way I do it is, you know, I make a match, and I choose like the guy I think who's gonna win. And when someone someone joins the match, what I do is I, I go on the chat box. You know the chat box on SVR Online? And I type in there, hey, could you please pick, you know, the guy, you know, I'm, the, w whichever guy I'm, you know, the guy I'm using is supposed to face at the pay-per-view. So, you know, when I picked Rey Mysterio, I told the guy, hey, could you please pick CM Punk? Well, you can't even say CM Punk, which is stupid. I don't know why, but the chat box in SVR censors a lot of words. You can't even say the word punk, which makes no sense because one of the superstars has punk in his name. So I'm like, could you please pick CM Punk? And then all he sees is these stars because the word is censored. So it makes no sense. Uh, so I have to say, hey, could you please pick CM? And I get a lot of responses. I had to do it a lot of times. Sometimes the guys are like, fuck no, man. Why do you want me to pick this guy? No. So I, I don't know why they're mad. Okay, if if you don't want to pick him, it, it's it's fine. Just you know, join another match. And sometimes people don't even understand. I'm like, hey, could you please pick? I don't know, Kofi Kingston. And he's like, okay. Then he goes ahead and picks Big Show. What the fuck? I don't understand. I just told him if he could, you know, pick Kofi, and he says okay, but goes ahead and picks somebody else. Then I'm like. Uh, I, could you please pick Kofi because I'm trying to do Kofi versus blah, uh, you know, Dolph Ziggler. And he's like, oh, okay. Then he changes his character. So I'm like, oh, he's going to change to Kofi finally. But no, he changes to Randy Orton. So, you know, I have to kick him out. I usually don't kick people out of matches. But, uh, you know, I, I'm trying to do this to give you guys more footage and stuff like that. 
Sometimes some people don't want to pick the characters. They all they just want to pick their created character. Their 100 overall super heavyweight with you know some cheap ass moves, some finishers as regular moves and stuff like that. And they can't pick anybody else because they suck if they can't pick their created character with 100 overall and all those powerful moves. But yeah, like I said, it's pretty hard to get these matches. I have to try a lot of times. A lot of times people don't understand or they don't want to pick the character I asked them to pick. You know, I could do them in single player. You know, it's 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 much easier, it's much simpler. But online matches I, I find are more entertaining. Just because it's a human player, it's on an AI, so it's a bit smarter. The match could be a bit more competitive, a bit more, you know, fun. Well, with an AI, you know, in SmackDown vs. Raw, the AI, the computer, when you up the difficulty, the only thing that really changes is the the fact that the computer just reverses more. Maybe hits a couple more moves, I don't know, but the real big difference is that he reverses more. That's all he does. So you do a shitload of moves and he keeps reversing, reversing, reversing. And that doesn't make for an entertaining match. An entertaining match is just a back and forth match. You know, there's reversing in it, there's, uh, you know, uh, well, obviously counters, uh, ducking moves, I don't know, just, it's not just about reversing, but, you know, the A, when you're playing single player on Legend, all, you know, all, the real difference is in the reversing and not the sk the real skill of the uh, computer. So, anyways, uh... Enough about that, I'm gonna go back to the match, Rey Mysterio versus CM Punk. Uh, I don't know. It's Like I said, it's gonna be an awesome match, it's gonna be a great match. I have no doubt about it. Is it gonna steal the show? Is it gonna be the top match on the card? Maybe. In my opinion, there's three matches that could be the top matches on the card. Three potential, you know, match of the night. Match of the night contenders. The first one is... Christian versus Orton, simply because Christian versus Orton, every single match they've put out has been great. The SmackDown match was awesome. Uh, the Over the Limit match was great. And, you know, I'm expecting this one to be just as good or better. And, you know, usually I don't like Orton matches, they bore me. But Orton versus Christian, it's, it's, it's awesome, it's great. The second match that could steal the show is. Dolph Ziggler versus Kofi Kingston. They're both great in the ring. They put on some entertaining matches when put with the right people. And Kofi Kingston and Dolph Ziggler, they go well together in matches. They put on some good matches. We've seen some matches of them in the past on SmackDown. And I think on Raw too. I'm not too sure. And the third match being Rey Mysterio versus CM Punk. That also has a lot of potential. Who do I think, which match do I think is going to, you know, really seal the show? Uh, I can't really know until I watch the pay-per-view. And things like that, match of the night, a lot of times it's it's opinion-based. It's it's not, you know, it's someone might think this one was a match of the night. Well, the other might think it's another match. But I can give you guys my prediction on which, mat, which, which match sorry, I think that is going to seal the show. In my opinion... That match might be Rey Mysterio vs. CM Punk. These guys, they know each other well in the ring. They, uh, like I said, they put on some great matches in the past, and I have no doubt they're they're gonna put another entertaining match, you know, this Sunday. So, the match right now, I'm gonna hit the six one nine. I don't think I get the pin now. I think he kicks out or something like that. Pretty sure I had to like hit two or three six six one nines in this match. This one being the first, I think I'm not sure. I wasn't paying really attention to the gameplay itself right now. <laughs> Anyways, I want to talk a bit about WWE 12. This is a long ass commentary, so I can't just talk about the match itself because I'm going to run out of things to say. So WWE 12, I've seen some gameplay so far, and ah, uh, gotta say I'm not that impressed. It looks a lot of like, you know, SVR 2011. When they announced all the new features, I was like, wow, this this really sounds like a new game. Sounds like it's going to be, you know, totally different game feeling or whatever. But no, it just looks like SVR 2011 with, you know, some added features. So, uh, I was a bit disappointed with that, but 
I'm not gonna go ahead and say the game sucks or anything like that, because I haven't played the game. And until you play the game, you can't really, you know, hate on the game or say this sucks or that or that, because you haven't played it, you haven't experienced it. I haven't been to A3, I haven't played it at all. I hope they release a demo, but either way, I'm gonna buy it, even if it sucks. <laughs> I've bought every single WWE game since uh, Just Bring It. I, uh, you know... I, I, I used to have a PlayStation 1 when, uh, you know, I used to have a PlayStation 1, but I didn't have SmackDown and SmackDown 2. I just uh, wasn't aware of those games, I think, at that time. I'm not too sure. My first wrestling game, well, you know, my first wrestling game I played was NWO versus WC WCW Revenge, was, which was awesome. The first SmackDown game I played was Just Bring It. You know what? I don't even know why I'm talking about that. Why am I telling you guys? <laughs> why am I telling you guys about the first SmackDown games I played when you know this has nothing to do with this? Anyways, the match is over now. One last six, one nine. Third time is the charm. I'm gonna go for the one, two, three, and that's what I think is gonna happen at the pay-per-view. A clean victory for Rey Mysterio. Some people like to call Rami the Triple H of SmackDown. Well, now he's on Raw, so what is he now? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so I won the match. Hope you guys enjoyed this. See ya. Bye.